Having a good looking face is a cheat code to get anything you want out of life. You can earn more money, have more friends, get more girlfriends. This is called the attractive bias. As a matter of fact, you can fix your face in seven simple steps. Starting with number one, make your eyes attractive with green tea baths. The first thing people look at is your eyes and you must do everything to make them look great. I'm gonna show you with how green tea bags, you can boost the appearance of your eyes. Dark eye circles are bad as they are a sign of extreme exhaustion, age, and lack of sleep. No one's gonna wanna be around the guy that has no energy. And this is how you're gonna treat this at home. See, this is what my eyes usually look like after I only sleep for hours. Now watch this. You're gonna grab two green tea bags. You're gonna soak them in cold water and then you're gonna put them in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Then you're gonna pull them out the fridge and place them on your eyes for around 10 minutes. You see, the green tea is packed with antioxidants that help reduce color saturation, meaning it will help reduce the darkness of color that's happening under your eyes. The cold compression from them being in the freezer is gonna help with the swelling to reduce the puffiness under your eyes. Look, I'm just getting started with eyes because it's what people connect with first. So let's be honest, you wanna try to fix your entire face. In tips two to five, we'll show you how to restructure your face shape. Starting with number two, I need you to change how you move your head to be more inviting. The direction of how you nod your head will determine how attractive others will perceive it. See, most of you do one of two nods unconsciously, not knowing that one of them makes you look bad. The two types of nods are simple. One, you have the upward nod. This is the upward tilt you do with people that you know, essentially meaning that you're inviting to engage with them. And this is inviting because you're exposing your jugular, which is a sign of trust, and that's why you only do it with people you know. The downward nod is the one that you do with people you don't know as much, and it's a sign of acknowledgement that they can go on with their way without there being any danger. It's almost like you're letting them know that you're not aggressive. You want to force yourself to do more upward head nods as this makes you more inviting and welcome. And through something called the halo effect, they will perceive you through that welcoming lens and therefore see you as more attractive and positive. Three, you're gonna use water to remove your chubby cheeks. Being obese is one of the ugliest traits you can have and don't get mad at me, that's not me saying it. That's a panel of 3,000 beautiful women. There is a dating app called Beautiful People where over 9 million profiles have been rejected for not being attractive enough to be on their app. Well, this panel got together and listed the top most unattractive traits for men. And at the top of that list was obesity. And there's a scientific reason for this. See, fat, especially around your cheeks, is a sign of poor dieting, little physical activity, aging, and genetics. But here's the good part. See, fat distribution and where it goes on your body is controlled about 21 to 60% purely off genetics, meaning the rest is controlled by your environment. So to fix the chubby cheeks, you're gonna take a two-step approach. One, you're going to have to lose the body fat. As you heard, almost 60% of your body fat you cannot control. You cannot target fat loss. So you're gonna have to lose total body fat if you also wanna reduce the chubby cheek. And the only way to do this is to eat less food. Now, because I understand that dieting is a pain, I'm gonna give you a simple trick. You're gonna drink more water. See, there's this scientific study that proved that those that drink water, especially before eating a meal, were more likely to feel full and less likely to overeat. So just increase your water consumption. Then I'm gonna need you to do facial exercises as these have been proven to increase muscle and skin strength by just doing it twice a day for about eight weeks. One popular exercise that's simple to do is puffing your cheeks out and then pushing the air from side to side. And you can do these on your leisure time and you'll feel your muscles and skin strengthen. Four, I want you to grow a beard with natural plants. If you are 18 to 21 years old and you still do not have a beard, this is the most important step you can do to fix your face. But I don't want you to do it with minoxidil. See, it works, but it has crazy side effects like itchy skin and flaky skin. It's extremely uncomfortable, which could lead you to quitting. Instead, I want you to use a natural ingredient called Capilia longa. It's better at hair growth than minoxidil, and it has zero side effects because it's a natural ingredient derived from turmeric. You can pick this up at Copenhagen Grooming, and there's been multiple studies on this that prove it's effective. Out of volunteers that tried it out, it had a 93.3% success rate at hair regrowth and an 80% success rate at reduction for hair loss. And this is not just through studies. I proved it on myself as well since I've been using this activator from Copenhagen Grooming for over three years now. So the way it works is that it blocks the effects of an enzyme called 5AR. This is the enzyme 
that restricts the blood flow to your hair follicles and it causes those follicles to die and fall out. Well, Capilla longa blocks this enzyme. It worked so fast that in a study of male volunteers, as soon as they applied it, they saw a 177% increase in hair follicle activity just after 48 hours of usage. This is higher than any sort of hair regrowth drug like minoxidil or finasteride. To see results, it's important to follow two key steps that they followed in the study. First, you need to use it for at least five months or around 150 days. And you can see for yourself, you can go on Copenhagen Gumi right now and see the before and afters. The results speak for themselves. But that's because those men that you see insane beard growth on, they committed to follow through with their goal and completed the 150 days. And the best part with Copenhagen Gumi is that when you buy their beard growth kit that has the activator with Capilla Longa, you get a 150 day guarantee, meaning that if you see no hair growth in 150 days, they'll refund you all your money back. The second thing is that you're going to want to use a derma roller to allow that activator serum that has the capilla longa to penetrate deeper. Derma rollers on their own have been proven to help stimulate hair follicle activity. When you combine it with a powerful active ingredient like capilla longa, which is the activator product from Copenhagen Grumman, you will 10x your results and speed up the process. Here's the best part. This activator, because it comes from a natural plant, it's safe to use on the face, it's more effective at beard growth, and it has no side effect. If you guys want to check out Copenhagen Grumman, you're going to get an entire beard regrowth kit that comes with the derma roller and the activator serum, and you can buy about a 150 day supply so you have just enough to grow the beard that you need, and I'm not going to leave you hanging. If you guys click the link down below, you can use code TMF20 to get 20% off your order. Five learn how to shape unwanted facial hair. The only hair on your face should be your eyebrows and your beard. Any other controllable facial hair is worse than having bad breath. Now, there are three areas in the face that if you remove the hair, it can level you up. First one is your nose hair. The rule when you do your nose hair is that you wanna trim what you can see and keep what you can't see. Nose hairs have a biological function. They are a filter that protects you against bacteria. The next one is the unibrow. You need to pluck or shave the middle area of your eyebrows so you can have two distinct eyebrows but the guide that you do is important see you want your eyebrows to start directly where the corner of your eye starts. that gives you perfect symmetry you can use a pen or pencil to help give you that guide and the final one is any hair outside your natural hair line. overgrown hair it looks messy and a barber has the ability to balance your face by removing some of that unwanted hair a good barber is not that he gives you a straight perfect line but he gives you a line that looks straight depending on your head shape. And that is what gives you balance. Look, we're not even done. Even though I fixed your eyes, removing chubby cheeks, growing your beard, and removing unwanted hair, none of that will matter if your skin is not fixed as that alone can overpower all that hard work you just did. But I won't allow that because that's what tips six and seven will be. Number six, I need you to reduce the size of your pores. The problem with big pores is that it adds texture to your skin, making it look bumpy and uneven. They happen for one of two reasons. The first one is that your pores are clogged up with dirt and excess oil and it's stretching out the walls of your pores. Or your skin has lost so much elasticity through aging that it's also stretching out. Either way, to solve both, you just need to do a slight change to your skincare routine. It's two easy changes. The first one is that you're going to start using a facial scrubber over just using your hands to wash your face. They proved this in a four week study with participants with mild to severe acne. They had to wash their face twice a day with a facial brush. After just four weeks, 76% of participants had cleared almost all of their skin blemishes. The next thing you want to change is that the skin cream you use, you want to buy one that has pep peptides are proteins that even out your skin texture by tightening up the skin, removing those large pores, those fine lines, and those wrinkles. This was proven in a study with 22 women over the age of 40. After just two weeks of applying a cream of peptides, their skin had noticeably reduced a lot of the wrinkles. Number seven, use toilet seat covers to remove excess oil. Stress, hormone, and humidity can all make your skin overproduce oil, which makes you feel dirty. Now, fixing this is free, which is great because walking around with oily skin can truly destroy your confidence. My preferred method is using blotting wipes. It's low key, it's easy, compact, and just one wipe is enough to remove all the excess oil that your skin will produce. The second way is a hack. Go to any public restroom, grab one of those toilet seat covers, make sure it's clean, and because that seat cover is made out of the same material as blotting wipes, you can use it to wipe down your face that absorbs all that excess oil and you can walk out with matte, perfect looking skin. That's it for me today. I'm leaving two more videos here for you to level up. See you guys next time.